Yo, what's up guys, I'm here and today I'll be showing you the cool 3 frames glitch effect transition you saw uh, in the beginning of the video but before we start I just have a quick announcement to make, it's important so please don't skip this uh, we're gonna make Tsukuyomi have tutorial, have, have uh, AMV editing team like scroll and trash and toxic and other teams uh, we're still gonna post tutorials so don't go ahead and um, unsubscribe but we're gonna post a lot of submission AMVs from all the different um, underground artists and it will mean a lot if now in the beginning when we post them um, you go ahead and just click on them like them maybe even watch them <laughs> I mean why not um, every view is gonna mean a lot to us when we're trying to grow now and um, yeah that's all I wanted to say uh, on 10k we're re we are very close to 10k and on, K on 10k we're gonna have a tournament uh, with a special artist um, it's gonna be a collab uh, tournament or something it's gonna be very cool and the uh, big prizes so make sure to subscribe if you're new and turn on post notifications like this video and we, we can start the tutorial now okay so now we're, we're inside of after effects and um, I got this video this is um, one submission edit we have it's gonna be dropped in two days so make sure to check that out okay um so i want to put them the uh, glitch effect here glitch transition so you're gonna click on this video click new adjustment layer and now okay just put it like over the clips now cut three times three frames okay and on first frame you're gonna put um, find edges and invert it maybe not it, um, but I like to invert it because the scene is black so uh, I mean dark whatever so um, the next effect you're gonna put is uh, deep glow you can leave it like this uh, or reduce the glow. Uh, Deep glow is a plugin, but it's easy to download. So yeah, um, you can use any glow though, but Deep glow is the best for this type of things. Then you're gonna use BCC colorize. Uh, BCC is also a plugin, but I guess a lot of you already has it. Um, you can play with the settings. You can leave it like this. Change the colors, obviously. Um, do whatever you want. I like the colors I use them as like default and for the end put offset in oh, fuck. so put offset and just um, I like to put it like this like this yeah like on the half okay wait yeah but uh, around zero on the second one you're also gonna use offset but this time you're gonna put these both you're gonna use these both so something like this uh, it looks much better when it's a full clip not this but it's also gonna look cool and then you can use um, three tone it's not a plugin it's free it's I mean it's an after effects so you don't have to worry about that uh, maybe maybe switch these two colors so no actually no, no, no it's 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 okay like this and also add deep glow to this also depending on the scene don't make it too bright for this it's it's okay because there's a lot of dark in the scene so this looks cool but but sometimes it doesn't so sometimes don't use it sometimes use it don't just don't make it like too bright um for here it's a lot of, it's a it's a very bright scene but um we're gonna use omino color uh, omino diffusion uh, it's also a plugin omino so yeah um, but I, I think everyone has omino now um, you can use always play with the settings but I'm gonna use something like this I guess this looks cool and also then add um, deep glow to this it's gonna be too bright but I'm gonna reduce it obviously 
Okay, uh, so I'm gonna reduce it. Um, so something like this looks cool, I guess. And now when you play it, you, you see, it looks very good. Um, you can. Uh, that's it for like this glitch. Uh, a lot of people like to use scan lines on these glitches uh, I use them but not all the times it does look cool sometimes though so wait you can't really see it now but when you use it in like both here maybe I don't know you know always yeah now you can see it always always try and use like try and create your own presets uh, and always try to use different ones so you learn a lot of new effects but uh, you can always, obviously you can copy um, this I don't mind um, I, I got inspired by some guy I did not copy but copied him but I got inspired I forgot his name but anyways um, that's it for the tutorial like and subscribe we were very close to 10k uh, and big tournament uh, we might recruit people soon if we get um, some submissions you know we might need some people it all depends on how uh, are you guys gonna help us and watch the videos or not so yeah that's it for the tutorial thank you guys so much for watching like and subscribe and see you guys next time